we'd be able to go to select a new speaker. I mean, it's a difficult situation driven by one person for his own personal beliefs, his own animosity towards me, and his concern about what's inside an ethics complaint that was filed before I was even speaker. What is the what is the support for the McHenry resolution to give him more powers, and would you need Democrats to come and help you? Well, the, the question in there, we'd like to have all Republicans, but it's, they get into the bunch of legal minds whether they're or not. I just think we need to make sure government still runs. And I think we should be having a resolution on the floor in support of Israel. I have a five-point plan to support Israel, but the question right now is you can't do anything until you elect a speaker, and apparently there's not enough votes to elect a speaker. Should Jim Jordan step down? Uh, look, it took me 15 times to win, so I, I don't question when someone keeps being have the opportunity. Think, think there's some the, 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 look, when I put when I put when I put McHenry's name down, it was my belief that if I something happened to me, that McHenry could run the floor until we elected a new speaker. It was not my intention when I put a name down that they couldn't do anything, so why would you put a name down? When the president decides on a State of the Union who his de designated survivor is, I think it's his he or her intention that if something happens to everyone else, that that person could carry on the continuity of government. If we provided these rules after 9-11, I believe it was the intent of Congress for that same reason to put a name down and you put a number of names that that person could carry on the job if something you fail to not be able to do the job. So, what, so is, is there going to be a vote on this resolution? I don't know if there's going to be a vote or not. You'll, you'll have to talk to uh, the group. What are you talking about? Oh, the question, why did I choose McHenry? There, there's a number of people I chose. It's in the order. I, I think from a Patrick McHenry, I wanted somebody who had been committee chairs. I wanted somebody that wasn't seeking the job because their role was to, be, to, to carry it out and put it. I wanted somebody that could work with all sides. Um, and McHenry is, is ideal for all that. If you watch him, he's not seeking to be speaker. He believes in the continuity of government. He's chairman of a, of a substantial committee. He understands the working. He's been here a number of years, so he understands how Congress works. He has respect on both sides of the aisle. He could carry out the job. Remember, when you're speaker, you don't determine whether the bill passes or not. The committees work on whether the bill comes before. You make sure government keeps working. It's shocking to me that all the Democrats and eight of those crazies led by Gates would vote to literally stop one branch of government. Why would you do that? It makes no sense. What are you telling members who are calling on Congressman Jordan to suspend his campaign? That, that's a conversation with them. Look, uh, I went 15 rounds in the process. Um, and so he got the majority of votes inside the conference. He has the opportunity to go, but you all determined that. Steve decided not to go to the floor. I don't get in the middle of their races. They can determine whether they think they could get the votes or not. Can I ask you, will a majority of House Republicans support this resolution, do you think? I don't think they'll bring it to the floor unless they have the majority. And do you think there is, and what's the... What's I don't know. They're having a long so discussion. So is there still a possibility that... that the path forward as far as if that resolution advances, like, do you support keeping McHenry in place through the end of November, through January, well, the, the, the what do you think is the appropriate time frame if there is This is the uniqueness of the resolution. It says a certain time frame or until you elect a new speaker. We could elect a new speaker tonight and then it would be done with. I just think with what's going on in the world today, I don't like the idea that Gates could go out and shut down all of Congress and we can't act. As Americans, that's not right. And as the former speaker, I put a name on the list with the belief that that would never take place, that the continuity of government would continue. There is some legal question about that. I don't want that to happen. Then elect a new speaker or let somebody continue to let us do the work for the American people. Look, we have men and women on aircraft carriers out in the Mediterranean. I don't want to question. I go back to this. I got removed from speaker because I kept government open and made sure the troops were being paid. I would do that again tomorrow, that our men and women in the military, that they're out there in the threat of what's going on, questioning whether they're going to make their house payment or their car payment, that should not be their problem at all. And look, if I'm going to lose that job because doing what's right, I'm going to do it each and every time. But I also believe when I put a name down, that person has the right to keep Congress moving until we elect a new speaker. So how do you, get to, how do you get to that point to, to the continuity, I mean, that point to, to the continuity, I mean, if, Democrats and some members don't think he has that 
ability to keep government open and keep government. Then, then those people you... just want chaos. I mean, collectively in there, um, we've got to find a way to govern. Now, when you ask me all those questions, could I get the things done during the week? We did pretty well, didn't we? You, you see, it's it's a pretty tough job. <laughs> Congressman, what's your sense of keeping the government funded? I mean, you, you've got concern about he can just, you know, they can just shut down the government. Well, are you, you concerned about funding the government through the end of the CR? Or after the CR expires? Well, you know how a CR works, right? So a CR means go, it's a continuing resolution. It's a stopgap measure that government is funded to a set date. So. I lost my job as speaker because I did that. So I believe in that. I believe in the troops. I believe in keeping our border agents funded. I believe in our ability to keep going. And um, there's some people who don't believe in that. I think that's wrong. But um, the more time we waste here, all that ability to be able to get our bill to secure the border, all that ability to, to eliminate wasteful spending, all that ability to end the wokeism, we're losing on. And that's why I don't understand this brilliant eight people on what their plan was and what they thought they were going to achieve because as I look every single day, we lose in that process and that means America loses. Is there an acknowledgement? Yes. Right now, are the Republican who has had the most votes on the floor, the most votes to go to the floor, is there any way that you could hear from five Democrats and put your name back in as, as a potential speaker? Look, every single Democrat made a choice to bring chaos. Every single Democrat decided that this was the best way forward. What's interesting, though, is the leadership of Democrats had said something different the entire time I've been here since Boehner. So well, I, I guess they changed they were their really mind. mad about your comments the Sunday after you kept the oh, government open. Oh, really? So they're mad I kept government open? Well, now it's a couple weeks later. Well, well no, let you blame them. It's a couple oh, weeks later. Okay, let's, that's a great question. So let's walk through that since people have thin skin, okay? So I put a bill on the floor to keep government open, and they moved to adjourn. Then they um, moved to delay, and then they took a magic minute. But they were upset that I acknowledged they did that? Hmm. I wonder if they should have this job if that upsets them. I, what do you think they say about me? Yeah, but is there any way to put the Humpty Dumpty back together again and you end up with the capital? Look, I, I, I think that stuff is probably past. They decided they wanted to shut down one branch of government. I'm trying to keep it open just for the same reason I fought to keep government. I had to roll them to keep government open for the troops. I'd do that again. So, so, if, there, like so if, there, if, if there's not a majority of support for the resolution to give McHenry more powers, is there a possibility that we Look, can keep... I, I, am, I am no longer speaker, so I'm not, making those, I'm not making that determination. So you have to ask those in leadership. Uh, Steve Scalise schedules the floor. You've got Patrick. You've got... Um, uh, Emmer and you've got Elise. They, they are better to answer that question. Do you I don't think know. Jordan should keep going forward? Who should be negotiating things like Israel, continuing resolution, continued appropriation bills? Great question. Are you involved in this? Nobody's involved in this because that brilliant eight people led by Gates, this was apparently their plan. I don't quite understand what that helps America for, what that helps the conservative cause. It's actually the reverse. Um, I laid out a five point plan to be able to help Israel, but more importantly, help America. First and foremost, this Biden administration needs to change their appeasement. They should no longer pay for American hostages, and their first fo focus should be bring every single hostage back and make it very clear that we'll hold people accountable. Secondly, make sure Israel has all the ability and the resources they need. That's from medical supply to precision weapons to carry out what they do. Hamas has to be destroyed. We should also make sure that we stop what this administration has done, reverse back. The sanctions are there when it comes to Iranian oil. Iran has become stronger, financially secure, and able to fund more terrorism based upon this Biden administration of not enforcing the oil sanctions. They, when Biden came into office, Iran was only producing 400,000 barrels a day. Today, they're producing 3 million. How many billions of dollars do you think of that is? Secondly, uh, I, I would go about making sure we secure our border. I have been fighting this Biden administration ever since they opened the border up of how many people we're catching on the terrorist watch list. We don't know if there's any cells inside America. We watch what transpired in Congress just yesterday with people coming in. I mean, this is a dangerous situation of where we are, and we should reassess that. And then we should replace the Iranian oil with American oil. That would be more American jobs, more economic strength here. And if you look at the foreign currency exchange, when Biden took over, Iran only had $4 billion. Today, they have $70 billion. 
he has been stronger for the economy of Iran than he has for America. So I mean, how, now, how do we, how do you get government back uh, continuity-wise? I mean, McHenry's coming out saying he's not asking for more powers. He wants to be focused on electing a speaker. If the resolutions go to the floor, I mean, how do you convince McHenry to that he does have these powers? Well, if the, open? if the resolution went to the floor and passed, it it would exactly do what I thought I was doing when we signed a piece of paper to keep government running, and it would stay running until we elected a new speaker. Then the new speaker would come in. Wouldn't McHenry have to come with his own list of backups? And would you be willing to if it on? passed, yeah, and then someone was afraid would they do a motion to vacate, I said, put me on the list, then they won't do a motion to vacate. We'll be fine. <laughs> who's second, who's second on the list? list? It's a secret list. <laughs> I'll tell you who's not on the list. Matt Gates, not on the list. I bet America vote on that one. Just in this scenario where McHenry does have more powers, is he the point person negotiating with Democrats? Is it the speaker... Uh, I think the best thing. The, the former speaker, you have like these three speaker figures in the conference. Okay, let me answer your question. The best thing for Republicans to do is to elect a speaker.